what's going on guys? Another AU video. We've got a special driver coming who has to drive a Ford. So we're gonna spice this up a little bit more. First of all, it sounds like that. <laughs> Because of the uh, the manifold, so we're putting a I think it's a six boost copy Speed Tech manifold on it, which Ridley has one, and it sounds spicy. So we're gonna chuck one of them on. Also, the NA20 cams tend to fall off up high in the revs, so luckily the 32 blew up a uh, 25DT Neo. Jeez. So there are many, many words in the dictionary that you could use for that. Randy. So, and the head's cooked. So we're going to pull the cans out of that. I'm going to obviously check and make sure they work with the clearances and stuff. But we're going to chuck those in the 20 because um, they got a bit more lift and a bit more duration. So it should be better for a turbo setup and then a little bit more gate pressure. But what I didn't realize is Jason told me about the cans and it's 12 o'clock and the tune's at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow. So. I'm gonna need you to hook me up. Three of everything, I made a list. When do you need this stuff, bud? Tomorrow, today, now. Right. Come on, man, white boys work fast, don't they? I don't think I'll be filming much on actually pulling it apart and doing it all, because it's a bit of a time constraint, but we'll get into it, get it on the voice, get it all ripped apart, chuck all the bits and pieces in, and hopefully she, uh, she sings. Get in it. The next morning. Well, that's a rare one. Yeah, so like five expensive. grand, I'm guessing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Enough power. <laughs> no. Hi, right, guys. It's next morning. I had a very late night last night. The turbo was rebuilt by Hypergear, and we had to get that Uber packaged here. It rocked up at six o'clock. By the time I got everything, made all the lines work, because it actually moves the turbo forward from where the old one was everything else like TJ had sorted out a dove pipe and everything for us we had to make a screamer and all the other just finicky little bits it just took its time I think I was here until about 10 o'clock last night um, the cams work and the sound of that manifold it's amazing the difference that just the styling of the manifold makes to the noise of the car like it is uncanny like it's ridiculous night and day difference so we're gonna get it down to Trent and uh, see what kind of gains we make just from doing cams and that and then maybe push it a little bit more if we can. So we got it on, it's, um, it's got a slight misfire. Um, Trent's saying it's the coil packs probably at their limit. Small, small turbo, high cylinder pressure things. So we'll have a look and see if we can figure it out. And see what's there. missing. Yeah,
All right, guys, back from Trent um, at Checker Tuning. Uh, ridiculous, actually, the difference it made, just those cams and the manifold and stuff. I think it's more the cams than anything. We did have a few problems. Coil packs are pretty much at their limit, um, so we can't really run any more boosts. It's something to do with small turbo, high cylinder pressure, something or I don't know. Trent was saying things in my ear and I was like, it, it, whoop. So, yeah. So we'll have to obviously upgrade those if we want to push it anymore, but it went from 280 kilowatt to 320. It's a 550-ish Newton meters, which is pretty decent for an RB20. But yeah, even like Trent said, the first run, it went up over 300 and he was like, Jesus, like that's amazing. We'll go take it for a drive and see what the uh, the old butt dyno feels like. First time in a Is it? Yep. No, it's, it's hate you in general. Man, <laughs> manual windy windows. <laughs> oh, that clutch though. I think the one thing this car needs is the Kang clutch pedal that we put in the AU100 because this has got like a Jesse made out of angle iron and it, it, it moves it moves side to side so if you don't push it right it actually catches on the little footrest thing and you can't you can't put look at that there's what is floating floating clutch floating clutch Jassy's customs <laughs> if you don't push it right <laughs> it's the, the footrest and you can't change gears That's, that's actually a completely different car. <laughs> oh, it's got a good dose on it. That's actually ridiculous. Like it's a completely different car. Wow. I like this car now. <laughs> I don't know how good it is as a street car anymore yes. but I have a feeling oh we never said who's driving it Chelsea Denofa I feel he like love it. I'm sure he will love it like it's it's a little bit like it, it's it's weird like it's sort of still got that 20 ish like lag that they have like down low where they don't have like the torque to get going but once it gets going it like actually puts you back in the seat and goes yeah it goes pretty hard it does Obviously these tyres are pretty junk, so it's just going to break them free anyway, but we've also done a couple of little different things. I took lowering blocks out of the rear because it's leaf sprung um, and I put, I took one leaf spring out as well to make it a little bit softer because it was very stiff in the rear and even just that one leaf spring in the lowering block because it once it like it bottom out and the tail shaft had hit the tail shaft had hit on the what am i talking about oh on the underside of the body and that was terrible uh, it didn't change the height too much it's a little bit higher in the rear but it's a lot softer and we're not going to destroy a tail shaft because it's an alloy tail shaft so if it starts if it rubs a bit too much it'll just twist and break Huh? Let's not break it. No, <laughs> let's not break a tail shaft. Maybe Chelsea will. Oh, Chelsea! He's already <laughs> here! <laughs> the dose in this thing is amazing. I reckon it beats the VL. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's gonna hate that. I feel weird driving this. I'm so low to the ground, but... So low to the ground? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I drive a patrol. Yeah. I was like, I'm used to looking over people in front of me now. I'm like, looking at their exhaust. Well, I'm actually quite impressed with this. 
gotten rid of the chattery gate too so I put an extra I think it was 14 psi springs in there I put an extra like I think it was four or five psi um, in the waste gate like the spring just to to stop because it was doing that like the gate had sort of open and closed as it was building boost but now it's nice and crisp and what else what else what else did we do what else? oh actually I forgot to say so it's on the same amount of boost as it was before but made 40 extra kilowatt and I think it's because it allows it to rev longer like it's not dying off it allows the exhaust to escape from the motor but dyno <laughs> we need a crickle to this thing all right well very impressed with the way that's uh the changes that's done um it feels like a completely different car It'd be interesting to see with good tyres on the rear how it actually goes and like loads up because it would just, it'd break, as soon as it came on it'd just break out. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how uh, Chelsea goes competing in this. It should be pretty, like, built, built diff, um, 25 turbo box, enough power to boogie with the boys. Yeah, hopefully you can uh, smack some doors down at uh, Battle Royale on, what is it, May 5th. So if you're not there, I'll be disappointed in you. You get to see Chelsea drop. Dang, hey, you. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. See you at Battle Royale.